morning. Morning. I really don't have anything. I just want to let you know our uh, annual conference starts today. And so I'll be going through Thursday this week. I don't know if you guys had any questions or anything. Nice thing is, is when I get back Thursday, I'll no longer be president of the association. And I'm ready for that to be done. So. <laughs> They're not going to re-elect you. No. No. <laughs> already railroaded some other poor guy into that. So it's all right. So. But just wanted to let you know that that's where I'll be this week. So. All right. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Have fun. I will. I will. Get your exercise. <laughs> okay, what have you got here? I've got some tax roll corrections. Yeah. Okay. Gentlemen, anything else right now? I have nothing. We'll recess. my investment performance report and I apologize I'm a little late on this just busy with the things that have been going on I was going there for a while so this is my quarterly report as of the end of December okay. so um, on the second page there, it shows our certificates of deposits that we have, and then our, our liquid accounts in our Stafford County banks, and our total amount. And um, a lot of that is the first half taxes that were paid, and I turned around and distributed a lot of that in January, so our balances aren't that much now. Then I have our interest rate benchmarks. As you can see, interest rates are going down on our CVs. Yeah, they might cut another quarter or something. Yeah. That just shows what interest rates we got compared to the T-bill rate. This, this page here, just a comparison over the last two years of uh, the interest collected. So total interest collected in 2007. Was two hundred seventy five thousand eight hundred ninety four. So we had a, I feel last year was a pretty good year for <coughs> our investments. I don't doubt it'll be that much this year. The way they're talking about it. No, it won't be that the good. Prices this year. and everything else is going to be. that you guys want me to present to get for you or research anything for you? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what your what your figures are. So. Well, I, there's that information that I gave you guys in that letter the last time. I mean, we, we, we got, kind of go off some of that data. Yeah, we still got. Okay. Up there, up there. All right. Now, <clears throat> on the CDs, you have it, Farmers National and St. John National. Mm -hmm. the, the liquidity accounts are the count as the banks throughout the county? Um, actually, no. They, they could be, but no, my liquid accounts are here in St. John, American State, and I'm in St. John National. Okay. 
so we don't <clears throat> like Hudson, Maxville. Do we use those banks mm -hmm. for, for mainly the investments? Okay, and those um, are not CDs. Yeah, these are CDs up here. Actually, there's an error there because <coughs> Hudson. Well, no, Hudson didn't have a CD this last quarter. But they did have one. You know, I put my CDs out for bid. Mm -hmm. And um, so last year, Hudson did have some of our investments, our CDs, and Farmers National Bank. It changes monthly. I have a CD that comes due every month. Okay. And so I, that kind of changes every month from time to time. And our accounts payable account is out of uh, St. John National Bank. And then I uh, have uh, American State Bank and St. John National Bank just for our interest-bearing uh, savings accounts and checking accounts. The checks I do out of the treasurer's office comes off of American State Bank. The treasurer's checks, like if somebody needs a check, you know, we, we write off of that account, and then also my distributions come out of that account okay. at American State Bank. Okay, so whoever bids the highest on interest rate among all the banks in the county dictates mm -hmm. what? Where the CD goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, and I've tried to uh, set it up so a CD comes due every month. Here it looks like we don't have very many CDs on this graph, you know, because the blue is the CDs. But like I say, I turned right around and distributed a lot of that back out. So I think we're about half and half on our CDs and then our this money. This goes back out to the townships and cities and mm -hmm. the school. Mm -hmm. You do all your distribution just after taxes. And I don't know if we want to be more than half invested on our uh, on the county's money. How close you should go on that? I suppose we could uh, increase some of our CDs if you guys think that we could invest some more. I could use your guys' input on that if you think we we should. And these are 30-day CDs? No, they're a year. Year. I have a year CD that comes due every month. Okay. So cause my thinking on that is if we get into a bind and need some money, I'll have a CD come and due the next month so we could cash it and use the money if we had to. But um, every month I have a CD for $275,000 that comes due. Kind of ladder them, and you know that's something. If if we would want to uh, invest more, like we could add like twenty five thousand dollars to it, make it a three hundred thousand dollars CD. So the liquidity flows in and then flows right back out. Yeah. Okay. Um. You know, I don't know how, that's that's the thing. You, we would really have to study that, how close you want to get to running those liquid accounts, running those balances down further. I mean, they don't totally zero out. I still probably have a, a couple, a couple million, maybe a million and a half. That's non-interest? Let me see, as of the end of September, say we could probably, yeah, we were probably down to about a million and a half. 
before the tax season started back up. That's why there used to be a 60 day peak deposit period. So you didn't have to have us. Did your, your money come in and come out that 60 day peak deposit so you didn't have to have it. Your, all your deposits covered and, and uh, if you have good liquidity. Because money's there short term, you know, it's not mm -hmm. very long. And if you got the banks well capitalized, then, uh, yeah, we could out. probably increase it a little bit. How, you know, how close do you guys want me to run our bank balances? It doesn't matter. Well, our account would probably be a, have a better answer to that than what I know. Mm -hmm. oh, I know. And that's something I can visit with him about um, in June, or I could call him too. Um, <coughs> I've just been doing this a couple of years, so I'm still learning how much to totally invest and you know how much you keep liquid. So if you need it, I don't know what the percentages are that you're really supposed to be at. I kind of figured half and half. And I know we got some expenses coming up this year, so we need to keep some. We kind of have the budget too because you don't, the budget isn't always accurate right. because we don't want the fuel right. costs and the other costs that are in there we don't know about. So you've got to have enough in there to the cushion. run oh, yeah. the county. Yeah. You have a big surprise to what we don't know about. But I'd be happy to talk to um, Terry about that, what a good percentage should be. Yeah. Okay. I'll visit with him about it. Because there might be a magic number out there that they follow a guideline on. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Aren't these mainly? change of ownership or wrong address or something. And it's because of the Go ahead, I can't the accounting. The tax figures were sent out wrong because we didn't know what the changes were. Yeah. Rather than just going in and making the change, we can't you have to and then start another new one. Okay. I'll make a motion we'll go ahead and do these tax roll corrections. Is there a second? A second. Who's second all favor say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. Okay. Anything else? <coughs> All three. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll recess. All right. What, is All this right. when you guys want to be up here? Pardon? Is yeah. this when you want to be up here? Yeah, fine. Anytime you come. Okay. Uh, as I advised JD a week ago, we called the uh, bridge, or the uh, treasurer's office for some information on our, for a tax file or tax return and uh, received a bill for them looking up what's public record, and that's never happened before. Uh, if that's the practice we're going to start for 30 years, I've given free advice over here. Whenever a department would call me, I'd just give it, and we've never billed. And in fact, that department asked me for some advice the previous month, so I'm gonna bill for it if that's the situation we're in. Uh, I'm under, I was under the assumption that really these are tax-supported departments here and that public information should be available to the public and if the, if the policy has changed to where they're billing to look something up to help the customer out then I'm going to likewise and I'm not on the tax dollar mm -hmm. I've just donated the time over the years but to my knowledge the policy has not changed and we're all elected public service that's kind of my assumption thing but we're supposed to be elected by the people paid by the people it should be pretty now I understand it if they they bill if you ask for a fax copy or a copy be made you you're, in, you're incurring some expense there in materials and or otherwise you'd have people up here abusing that situation right and and just asking for reams of stuff whether they need it or not I have no problem with that I do have a problem 
with the taxpayer dollars going into a situation and they bill every time they look something up. Well, you know, you scratch my back and I scratch yours. It looks like it's worked for years. Why shouldn't it now? Well, actually, it's been here at Pandy's because I guarantee you. Well, uh, what she great. billed me, the $2 compared to what I'm going to bill hers, is there's no comparison. I mean, for the for the time involved, because it took me a lot more time over the years. And that's something you look at. And I don't mind doing that. I figure that's part of my function here in this in this community. And Emerson's the same way. I talk to Emerson. You know, usually, whenever they hasn't been billed on anything, he's, he's giving advice whenever the, the departments would call. And uh, <clears throat> I, just, I just hate to see it change. Well, like I say, as far as I know, the policy has never has not it's changed. Of course, individual officers, too. That's just her, you know. What, what she did, but I, I agree with you. I mean, if you're, I'm, I'm agreeing with what you're saying, but uh, I, this is a policy she's changing in her office. What that uh, said, if you, she's gonna charge you. Well, I'd say every time she has a question, that that the office go ahead and charge her right back. Well, you know what it'll become, it'll become for every part, huh? you say. I mean, and I don't really want to do that because these people are also considered friends of mine. And they'll call you up if they can't if they can't get the county attorney or something. Yeah. They've got a question, you know. They and and, and I can't always necessarily <coughs> answer the question, or I'll tell them it's going to take quite a bit of research and and you know or something like that. But if I can answer them off the top of my head, I have over the years, and I, I you know I don't mind that. Yeah. Well, I think we should have a little control of the policy in these offices. You know, if the policy has been. That's that, but yeah, but they're they're elected officers. That's that's our problem is being elected official of course. But uh, I I think we need to make business with her about it. Well, let me know because if I understand. Okay. Do have any more questions? Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Thanks for your All right. Hello, Bill. Cool. No, I'm trying not. To, trying to get you some business. Is that okay? Well, <laughs> you, you look like you uh, need some more work. Oh, I, I, actually, I came across something fascinating the other day I need to share with the commissioners in the executive wow. session. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks for having Thank you. See you, John. When you have a break in the action, can I <laughs> beg about, oh, 10 minutes of your time in executive session? Okay. Well, okay. What's the purpose? It would be something covered by attorney-client privilege. Okay. I'm going to have a 10-minute executive session go for executive Attorney-client, please. Second. Second. Move to second. All in favor, John. Aye. You are in second, second. Okay. On our agenda, in fact, the other item we got left this morning is on this. Uh, the architect for the building next door. We need to decide on that. Did you look at it, Lee? Yeah. Well, like I said, we've already we paid for the other survey, and they, they can't do much of anything to it. We go ahead and do this, the site survey, I don't think. She's talking about the engineering services, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. I think we're in a catch-22 situation here, and I think, well, I think it's, we're going to have to have it done. I mean, we got to have some starting point, you know, and we're almost into a whole year since we purchased the building, and... Right. So that's been kind of off to a slow start. This We've got gives, to move forward. Gives an area we go ahead and have these done, and then we can go ahead and actually get some bids on probably. I don't like the cost, but I guess it's it's necessary. Well, we had the initial work done that they did up to now, so this is just to go ahead and complete the plans so we can get some of those. So with that, I'll go ahead and make the motion that we. Proceed with uh, the structural engineer as well as the mech mechanical and electrical engineers to do an assessment on the building, and so the architect can, can move forward on his plans. Is there a second? A second. Move to the second. All members say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Anything else? <clears throat> Do you have anything else? Please. Anything else for you? Okay. If not, I'd ask for a motion to adjourn. So we are adjourned.